Well, good morning, everyone. Before we get started, of course, folks just tuning in maybe for Wheel and Deal, but we're going to put a little shock into them a little bit because before we do that, a little later on, we've got Dwight Whelan in our studio today, and folks might recall that he came in pretty regularly for a while on Mill Creek Crossing Connection, and so we've got Dwight in again who wanted to get the show going again to try to gin up some more public interest in the development out there at Mill Creek Crossing because you can always use new residents to build their homes and come into the area. That's right. We uh, we certainly would like to have people come out and look at the new homes. There's, there's a dramatic change in the floor plan and things like that. And uh, if they had seen the old floor plan and wanted some changes made, why well, they could come out because changes have been made. And uh, Mary, Mary Bartles is there each day, uh, Tuesday through Saturday from 11 to 1. And, and as Paul and I were talking on the second Saturday of every month, Mary has some refreshments. And last, last time we had the uh, open house on second, second Saturday, she had some delicious sandwiches that she and I sat and ate after the, after the time to close. So uh, people can drop in, have a sandwich, a cup of coffee, a bottle of water, and uh, just look through the house. Now, you have a model home that is open that folks can come and look at, but I think we were talking last week, you mentioned that all the other homes then got sold, so is there going to be like new building going on then this summer? Yes, 1618 Garrett Avenue is the model home now. Okay. Uh, there are plans in the works to uh, build a house on Connor Court okay. uh, and also plans to build another house on Garrett Avenue. Uh, I guess it'd be 1612 Garrett Avenue, which would be right in the curve and uh, I understand applications are being made for the permits to get started and one of these days we'll see an excavator in there and start digging the dirt and that means it's getting close. <laughs> well, the thing I remember before is that it, whenever there was the big you know, cranes and heavy equipment there, that usually drew attention from people just driving through to check it out, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. people want to see well, what's going on here. <laughs> and when they're putting those rafters on and the cranes way up in the air, yeah, that, that draws a lot of attention. Uh, and when, when 1618 is sold, uh, we'll be without a model home for some time, but, but uh, people can still talk about what they want to build uh, I'm anxious to see the building start on Connor Court. Uh, that's the, uh, you come in on Mill Creek Crossing and then uh, Connor Court is the first street to the east. And uh, there's, there's a lot of lots there to, to build on. And uh, that's, that's our goal is to fill up some of those empty lots. Uh, also in the near future, we're going to have to extend Garrett Avenue and go on around the corner. And when that when that happens, that'll open up uh, a good number of lots. Uh, I don't know whether it'll still be Garrett Avenue when we go around the corner or not. But uh, uh, anyway, uh, we'll see construction and it'll back up to Emma Young, um, Emma Young Park. Uh, there's a good tree line behind it. If, uh, a lot of people have looked at those lots and uh, had admired them because of, of the trees behind it. And uh, so people can just look around uh, in their own time and nobody's going to bug them about buying or calling them or things like that. We, we just like to know and name and who's out there looking and uh, so that we can recognize them as a potential. Sure. But no, we won't be calling them and send telemarketers after them and things <laughs> like that. We we just don't go for that. Well, that that's good to hear because I know some folks are concerned about if they show up at an open house, then they'll get on a list and then get called every other day. And you guys don't do that. So, no, no. and I've had people say, you know, I'll give you my name, but don't you dare call me. <laughs> and I take them at their word. Yep. 
So um, one of the things that we always talked about is if you get in on the ground floor that you can kind of add your flair, if you will, to the building. Uh, maybe you pick out the kind of cabinets you want or, you know, the carpeting or something or maybe what color to paint a room. Is that still the case that you can help, you know, kind of direct how the building goes to your liking or sure. how does that work? Sure, they can. Uh in fact, you know, a lot of times we'll have women come in and say, well, I don't like the color of those handles on the cabinets. Well, okay. they can have input on it and have the color that they do like. Uh, the houses now are uh, primarily a, a neutral color so that uh, it goes with any furniture or any uh, decorating and things like that. But if a person wants a certain color in the bedroom or the bathroom, things like that, that that's possible. Now, do you find it that because it seems like Dan's always changing and and adapting to what people are requesting as he builds, because you mentioned new floor plan and stuff, that people are just leaving it the way it is and not even changing anything? <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, one of the things that I really like about the new floor plan, when you come in out of the garage, you come into a mud room, and there's a bench there and a place to take the boots off instead of tracking through the house. Uh, also, the master bedroom is on the opposite side of the house, and the, and the bathroom, master bath, and the master closet is connected it's a straight line through all three of them then it's very easy to just turn and go into the laundry room so all of that is in one flow pattern so that you don't have to go through the house or anything else with with the laundry and uh, it, it, the floor plan is just very very acceptable now uh, of course, there's a second bedroom on, on the main level uh, and the second bath and then the open, uh, then the open living room and kitchen with, a, with an island. And, and that's been very attractive with the ladies. Well, I know when we kind of started talking to you again about coming back in and, and promoting the area again on, a, on the radio show, it just seems like every time we talk to you, you're excited about that new floor plan, and you're like, people got to see this, don't they? Well, well I'm very envious of it. <laughs> we, we, we have the old model, and, and that, that serves our purpose very, very well. Mm -hmm. But the, this new layout is it, beautiful. Mm -hmm. it, it's unbelievable how easy it is to get through the house, uh, uh, you know, I, I carry our laundry from the bathroom across the house to the la uh, laundry room. Well, that that's not the case in the new floor plan. So, yeah, I'm really excited about it. And, and if somebody came out and liked the old floor plan, they're going to love this. <laughs> Well, and you mentioned that, you know, because when I do our laundry, I have to take it from the third floor all the way to the basement <laughs> where the washer and dryer are. Yeah. And that's, you know, when you get a little older in years, that's not so easy anymore, is well, it? Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the thing I love about the homes out there at Mill Creek is that they're all, everything's on one floor and it's very easy for you know, people that might have mobility issues and things like that. Well, I've told a story before here, here on the program about when my wife got out of the hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, first, they were going to put her in a care facility, and I objected to that. And, well, she can't be around stairs. We don't have any stairs that she has to be around. She doesn't have to go downstairs. And, she, well, she's going to need help showering. Well, you know, we love the roll-in shower. And people see it, and they they can't believe how convenient it is. And I told the doctor, uh, we got the roll-in shower with hand bars on three sides, and if that isn't safe enough, I'll get in there with her. <laughs> and we argued for about 15 minutes, and he said, Miss Wheeling, I'm going to dismiss you to go home. <laughs> 
and she was recently under the care of some therapists that came to the house and, and one of the nurses said, did you design this house? And I told her, no, there's a whole neighborhood out here just like this. It's, it's really unknown to a lot of people in Clinton about the convenience and you know we, we jokingly say it's built to grow old in. I've done that. Mm -hmm. I've lived there and I've grown old both. <laughs> but anyway, it, it's been very convenient for us. Well, I know that's the great thing about, you know, you're not just an advocate for Mill Creek and the development there, but you are actually a owner. You live there. And so you're the perfect person to talk to if anybody wants to know, you know, all the little, I don't want to say little secrets, but just, <laughs> you know, if somebody has a hard question and says, now, is this really the case if this happens or is this really do they do this you're there you live there you can say yes this is what happens and so if anybody has any questions about mill creek they can come to you that's true and and also when people come and look if they're over 62 and yeah sometimes have to guess at that but uh, if they're over 62 i generally mention to them the the fact that there's a program called a reverse mortgage for senior citizens. Mm -hmm. And immediately they throw their hands up. They don't want any part of it, but they don't know about it. They, they've only heard the rumors. And we talk about it. And there again, I, I can talk to people about a reverse mortgage because I have a reverse mortgage on my house. So okay. it's, it's not like I'm trying to sell something that, that I want you to buy. It's something that I've bought, and I think it works well for me, so it could work well for you. Right. And I know that in the past, um, that was something that Dan always mentioned quite a bit, was that option for people. But it's not a requirement. Obviously, if you want to do a standard traditional mortgage, you can. It's just an option for people. And you've done it and think that it works well for you and that it could work well for other people. So I, try, I jokingly have always said that. Uh, there's many ways of buying a home out there. Mm -hmm. uh, Dan would take anything except Russian rubles and Confederate dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I don't know whether he'd take them now or not. But anyway, uh, there's so many different options. Uh, the, of course, the bank loans are, are convenient, and, and uh, people have their favorite bank. This is just a different program that people are not aware of. They see it on TV and they've been told, oh, that's, that's something bad. Uh, if a person is over 62 years old, they can, if both parties are over 62, they can move into one of those model homes for about 40 or 60% on a dollar. So it's something that people need to listen to they don't have to buy it. There's no way you can make them use it. But I like it, and I like to tell the story. Well, um, we're hard to believe. Yeah. We quickly run out of time, so um, why don't we just uh, quit let, quick let folks know how they can get a hold of you and what your open house hours are again. Yeah, Mary is there Tuesday through Saturday from 11 to 1. Of course... If somebody drives through and sees us out in the yard or sitting in the garage or something like that and they want to look at the house, Mary or I, either one, will open it and let them look at it. And that doesn't, there's no hours to that. If, if they catch us or give us a call, I live at 1713 and they can ring the doorbell and I'll be happy to go up and show them the house. All right, very good. And again, we mentioned that, uh, I don't even know what day this is. <laughs> Yes. Uh, so your next open house on a Saturday where folks can come out and you might have some refreshments, that'll be in July then at some point. Or not July, June. June. Second June. Saturday in June. Second Saturday in June. Yep. So keep that in mind, folks. And we thank Dwight for stopping in on today's Mill Creek Crossing Connection.